I'm going to show you how to easily do a linear correlation test with your TI-84 graphing calculator. If you'd rather see how to do this in Google Sheets or Excel, take a look at the video using the link that I've got here on the screen or with the link down below. You can also print these notes and follow along to get started. Um, I'm going to start with just a really quick overview here first. So I've got some different linear correlations. In the middle here is no correlation. So if we end up with a scatter plot where there's no relationship whatsoever, we say that there's no correlation and we assign this a correlation coefficient r of zero. Using this Pearson's correlation coefficient, if it's negative, so I've got a slope here that's going down, and it's a perfect negative correlation, we assign that to a number of negative one. For a perfect positive correlation, we assign it to a positive one. Relationships between two variables are going to lie somewhere in between negative one and positive one. Our question is in the form of these hypotheses. Is our correlation coefficient close to zero or is it significantly different? If it's close to zero, we say that there is no correlation. I'm just going to abbreviate. If we find that it's significantly different than zero, we say that we did find a significant correlation. Again, I'm just abbreviating. And I'm using the Greek letter here, rho, in my hypotheses. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, we want to know if there's a linear relationship between the amount of bribe that you're giving me, these are in dollars, and the grade that you get. We're going to conduct a complete hypothesis test. I'm going to take you all the way through from the hypotheses, the correlation coefficient. I'm going to apply a p-value here, and we'll find the regression equation as well. We're going to start with the hypotheses. They're very consistent. They're the same ones that we already saw. So we have that rho is either equal to zero, no correlation, or for our alternative, rho is significantly different than zero, and we have a significant correlation. For step number two, I'm going to use the calculator, and I'm going to look for my p-value. The calculator will also find the test statistic t for us, as well as the correlation coefficient r. Let's go into the calculator. So I've got my calculator here. Let me actually quit and get to the home screen, which is probably where you are. I want to enter this data into my calculator. So I go into my stat menu, and then I click on Enter for Edit. My lists are empty. If yours aren't, arrow up to the list name, hit Clear, don't delete, hit Clear, and then Enter, and you're ready to enter them. I'm going to go ahead and just start entering these in here. So 10, 25, 75, Okay, so I've got my data in. Now I can go ahead and run a linear regression test. I'm going to quit here. To run the regression test, I'm going to go into Stat. This time I'm going to choose Tests. Linear regression test is towards the bottom. So I'm going to arrow up until I see that linear regression t-test, and then I hit Enter. You need to remember where you put your x and your y values. I did put my x in L1. If yours is in a different list or L1 isn't showing up, you're going to type second followed by one for L1, second followed by two for L2, and so on. Um, frequency, we're going to go ahead and leave that one. That just means we're counting each pair once. I'm going to choose the not equals for my alternative hypothesis. I leave my regression equation blank, and then I'm going to hit enter to calculate. This gives me all the information I need to finish both my regression test and the regression equation. So I've got the regression equation, y equals a plus bx. a and b are included down below. My test statistic t is that 5.688. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I've got my correlation coefficient r, 0.9566. I'm going to copy this information over, put it onto the test, and we'll go ahead and finish up. I've got the screens captured from my calculator over here, so let's go ahead and drop some values in. I'm going to start with the p-value. The p-value is right here, and it is approximately 0 0.01077, so we'll call that an 8. I'm going to compare that to my significance level here in just a second, but you might also be using the t-value. So that test t is approximately 5.688. We also have a correlation coefficient. Another way to run the test is by comparing this to a critical R. 
our test R is approximately 0.95. Six six nine five six six. I'm going to run a p-value test. So as I'm doing my comparison here, my p-value of 0 0.0108 is smaller than my significance level of 0 0.05. These are both areas of tails. So my p-value area fits inside the significance area or the rejection area. So this is going to cause me to reject the null hypothesis. So we're going to reject that null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis. This leads me to, we can call that step number three actually, reject. And then step number four, we've got our conclusion. And our conclusion is that we do have a significant, and I'm just going to abbreviate, a significant linear correlation between bribe and grade. Finally, I want to find that regression equation. The regression equation is given to me right here. So I know that the form that I'm looking for is y equals a plus bx. I'm going to go over to my calculator screen and I'm going to identify a, which is this first value here and then B, which is right down below it. So I'm looking for those two values there. As I drop those values in, a is equal to 74.58, so 74.58 plus B. B is 0.1176, 0.1176x. This is our regression equation. Um, remember that Y are grades and my value for X are the bribes. I hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions or comments for me, go ahead and put those down below and be sure to click that like button. Thank you so much for watching.